Yeah, there's still a, a bit of a confused picture emerging at the moment. There is uh, conflicting pieces of, of information coming in at the moment. Uh, so far, we know that uh, the uh, spokesperson for the Trump campaign has said that Donald Trump is safe. That also backed up by the Secret Service, who say they are investigating after there were shots fired in the vicinity of his West Palm Beach resort. At the moment, we don't know whether those shots were, uh, were fired outside or inside of the bounds of that golf club. Uh, or whether uh, Donald Trump himself was indeed the target of that shooting. It appears uh, by some accounts that he wasn't. There's also conflicting reports as to whether the shooting was taking place between Secret Service and members of the public, or it was two members of the public shooting at each other. Those details still not uh, yet fully uh, realized. We do, we are learning, sorry for looking down, but we, we are getting stuff coming into us uh, as this is happening. Uh, and we are hearing that the West Palm Beach County Sheriff Department will be be holding a, a, a press conference about this shooting. They don't give a time for that conference just yet. Uh, but also on X, on Twitter, we are hearing from Donald Trump Jr., so Donald Trump's son. He says that an AK-47 was discovered in the bushes per local law enforcement. The Trump campaign has released a statement confirming former President Trump is safe. A suspect has reportedly been apprehended. Again, that cannot be verified by us. That is uh, the words of Donald Trump Jr. on Twitter. Uh, but so far, we have not had that backed up by law enforcement nor by the Secret Service, uh, and we are waiting for more information to be verified and to be uh, to be confirmed by police sources uh, before we uh, get a, a better idea of what's happening. We know also the president and the vice president have both been briefed on this as well. They say that they are relieved that the former president is safe, and both the vice president and the president will be uh, kept up to date on this as the situation develops, uh, and we will do the same for you our viewers as well and fraser of course this is all happening while the campaign for the race to the white house is going on yeah, it's obviously quite a quite a, um, a, a trying time. And of course, remember, cast your minds back just two months ago now. So much has happened since then uh, that in some ways it's almost easy to forget. But Donald Trump was uh, a, a survivor of an assassination attempt on his life uh, in mid-July as well. So uh, security is heightened around him because of that in the wake of that shooting. And of course, it is something that the Secret Service is now extremely wary of because they came under a lot of pressure in the wake of that assassination attempt. They actually lost their, uh, their, their head of the Secret Service uh, after a parliamentary review. She stepped down, stepped aside from the job, and this, uh, those uh, investigations are still ongoing into how that happened. Uh, so it takes place against the backdrop of you know, a, heightened, uh, a heightened tension within the Secret Service and wider electorate as well. So uh, no doubt uh, this will be closely watched uh, by Kamala Harris and by uh, the, the Democrats as well to see uh, to see what is happening with this incident. But obviously at the moment, everybody just relieved uh, that once again, Donald Trump is safe after this um, shooting. But once again, no uh, confirmation that this shooting was actually directed towards Donald Trump, but rather happening in the area that he also was in. We'll confirm that once we know more.